Hi everybody, this is Tom at Harborside Marine and Yacht Sales, and today we're going to be doing our third installment out of four for our anchoring videos. Uh, today's episode is going to be about anchoring in preparation for a storm. Now obviously the best preparation for a storm is to get the hell out of the way. Um, find a safe harbor, get the boat hauled. Uh, most boat insurance companies will actually pay for an emergency storm haul rather than risk your boat getting smashed up, so if that's an option, do that. That's really, really common during hurricane season. Uh, but say you're down in the Caribbean on some islands and can't get to a safe harbor in time for before the storm. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, now there's two schools of thought, so thought on this. Um, the first school of thought is just to get the biggest anchor and heaviest gear you possibly can. And that should be more than enough to hold the boat. Not always an option on smaller boats. Like if you're in a big cruising sailboat and you have tons of room, yeah, great. Get a 120 pound anchor. Uh, but if you're on a smaller boat, you don't always have that kind of room or that space to carry around all that extra stuff. Um, so today I'm going to talk about doing a three anchor setup for a smaller boat uh, using line road instead of chain. So the way this is going to work is you want to get yourself into a harbor that is as protected as possible from wherever the prevailing wind is going to be coming from. Uh, so, you know, really get, get as much information as you can from the weather bureau and figure out where the wind is going to be coming from, when it's going to be coming from, where you got to worry about tides again, because uh, obviously with a hurricane, something like that, you're going to have storm surge. So, the, this, this three anchor system is a little bit more convoluted than uh, anything else I've talked about, so it's a, not the easiest thing to follow, but our next video, uh, we're actually going to do this on a boat in the water, and uh, it'll make a lot more sense when we're doing it in person. So this is what your eventual storm anchoring setup is going to look like. You have one, two, three anchors, two off the bow, one off the stern. And so the way this is going to work, let me get rid of these, is so, just like for a conventional anchoring situation, you're going to drop your first anchor, come up here, drop your anchor, start sliding back, like I did in my previous videos, you set that first anchor. Um, make sure it's good and set. Wait there for a minute, make sure you're not dragging. Once this anchor is set, haul in about half of that scope. Uh, this is gonna act like a pivot point, and basically uh, you wanna motor forward until that line is perpendicular off the side of your bow, and this is gonna give you the location to drop your second anchor. Um, so you drop your second anchor, start drifting back, let this fir first anchor scope all the way out so it's completely slack so you're not pulling on this first anchor at all until you drift back to whatever your scope is going to be for whatever your depth. So set that anchor, get it good and secure, and then you can readjust that line like that. So that's the first step. Um, that's good for a lot of situations, but if you know it's going to get really rough and the wind is going to swing around a lot, the next thing you can do is, so say both of these are 70 feet of line, uh, double that out to 140 foot each, and that'll bring you back to your third anchor location. Same process, just off the stern of the boat, drop your anchor, uh, power or drift forward depending on what the tide is doing, uh, make sure that anchor is good and set, and then you can readjust all of your lines so that they have equal tension and distribute the load equally. Um, like I said, it's a little bit convoluted, but this is a really good setup if you know you're going to get stuck out in a storm. And um, obviously in this situation, you'd be staying on your boat. And um, so obviously you're going to be checking. If you get a bunch of storm surge, you might have to put more scope out if the angles start getting too steep. Um, it's one of those things with anchoring. You're, you're never truly secure so um, just make sure that you're not moving around too much make sure your scope is at the right angle um, and then if all else fails you can haul your anchors back out and just what's, do what's called jogging where you use you abandon the anchors or haul the anchors in and you can just use the engine to hold your position in the anchorage and jog into the swell that's worst case scenario hopefully it never happens but that's the backup plan um, Again, if you're in an area where you're preparing for a storm like this, uh, always make sure that you have, if, it's a, if you're using a rope road, have a really sharp knife. So if you do need to abandon your anchor, or if somebody else's anchor gets tangled up in you from them drifting, you can cut them loose. 
uh, or if you're using an all chain road, uh, make sure you have a good set of bolt cutters so you can cut those chains loose if necessary. I um, think that's about it for anchoring for a storm. Uh, like I said, next time we're going to be doing this out on the water in real life. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm Tom, I work for Harborside, and I'll see you out on the water.